going on guys, it's Apollo 1, and today we have for you a DNA bomb gameplay on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So if you guys didn't already know, there is a secret kill streak within Advanced Warfare that you do not have to equip, kind of like the Moab or the Chem Strike from previous Call of Duties. Now, this time it is a 30 gun streak, not a 25 like we saw before, it is a 30, so they made it a little more difficult to get, and with all the new exo abilities and all the new things within Advanced Warfare, just getting a streak overall is very difficult difficult. So the fact that Carnage Crackers managed to get a DNA bomb gameplay on day zero is insane. Very, very good. A very good gameplay. We're very proud to bring this to you guys. It's an awesome gameplay and it kind of shows off what you're going to be seeing throughout Advanced Warfare here on Carnage. So like I said, this is a 30 kill streak or 30 gun streak, I should say, not a kill streak. The 30 kill streak is the nuclear or the vicious metal. If you get 30 kills just in a row, whether it be gun kills or your kill streaks getting kills, that's how you get a nuclear or vicious and to get a DNA bomb you have to get 30 gun streak kills in a row just to clarify that uh, but yeah this is a pretty sick gameplay it is on the map bio lab we saw a, we saw a lot of this map post launch of advanced warfare and it plays very good it's one of my favorite maps it's very small it's not too crazy it, it's very kind of like kind of like a it kind of plays like in a circular play style sort of I don't know how to describe it but it, it does play very good definitely one of my favorite maps B flag is extremely hard to get I wouldn't recommend going on B flag if you're trying to get a, a DNA bomb or any kind of kill streak going not a good idea it's very open you're gonna probably get picked off um, but yeah Carnage Crackers is only using the UAV and the UAV is really the only kind of kill streak that will help you towards your DNA bomb system hack is also very good but this was actually one of his not first games on he was like level 23 I want to say when he got this gameplay so it wasn't really later on he hasn't he played the game for probably like three hours before dropping his first DNA bomb and that's the crazy part is the fact that there's only been been less than five DNA bombs ever so far in Advanced Warfare on day zero. Carnage Crackers managed to pull off one of those, and that's just crazy. So, guys, please do check out Carnage Crackers' channel. It will be down in the description below. He's going to be posting great content through Advanced Warfare. I promise you that. And also, if you are new to the Carnage Clan channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are extremely excited for this year's Call of Duty. It's a lot of fun. We're already having a lot of fun playing it. We have lots of videos planned for you guys, and uh, we're going to be giving you guys tips and tricks on how to play better, and all the different things that we're kind of learning about the game as time goes on. We're also going to have lots of great class setups to uh, give you guys the advantage on what to use and what not to use because there might be some attachment that you think is very good or you think would be very useful, but really there might be something that's a little bit better or a little more practical. So that's our goal here at Carnage is to make you guys into better players so that you guys can drop your own DNA ga gameplays and DNA bomb gameplays here in the future. At the same time, you can watch us post insane gameplays because that's what we plan on doing throughout Advanced Warfare. So once again, Again, if you guys are new, that would be awesome if you'd stick around and hit that subscribe button. That would be pretty cool um, and, and helps us get out there and stuff like that. And also, guys, if we could hit a thousand likes for the first DNA bomb gameplay on the Carnage Clan, that would be absolutely awesome as well. If not, that's completely fine, but I think we can do that. I think it's good to set goals for ourselves. And uh, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about his strategy and his class setup and all that kind of stuff. So first off, he is using the AK-12 and the BAL-27. They're two very, very good assault rifles, I'd rate them uh, the first and second best gun. The first, I'd have to say uh, the AK-12. The AK-12 just seems to have a very, very high damage as well as accuracy is just it's on point. And there's just something about the gun, at least for myself, I rate it as the best gun in the game. And then the H, or the uh, BAL-27 as the second best gun in the game. And he's using both of those guns throughout this gameplay. If you guys want to check out both of those class setups, well actually if you guys want to check out the AK-12 class setup, it will be on screen. You can just click it and it will bring you right there you can copy down that setup and see how that works for you um it, it probably will work well for you it's a very good class setup and i would definitely recommend using the ak-12 and of course you can always change around the the attachments and stuff like that but definitely guys go check out that video it will be on screen as well as in the description below but yeah let's talk about how he kind of plays so in the beginning he started off kind of sticking around in that area and that's really what you want to do for dna bombs because you have people coming from all different directions and to go on a 30 gun streak is not an easy task especially when you have people just all over the place and it's not like Call of Duty's from the past where you can kind of predict the lanes that they're going to be coming from and you can kind of look down the same lines of sight that you would expect the enemy to be spawning or to be flanking you from. This time there are an endless amount of possibilities where they could be coming from. They can jump over walls, over buildings and you just really can't predict how this game is going to work. It's just not a very predictable game kind of like previous Call of Duty. So my best tip for you guys to get DNA bombs as of now 
is to stick to one area, not camp, not camp, but to hold down a certain area, a larger area, so that you can kind of move around that area and not be predicted over and over. So anyways, guys, hopefully you're having a great day. Once again, if you are new to Carnage Clan, make sure to stick around and check out all the content, to check out all the content that we're going to be posting in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. We're really excited to show you guys what we have in store for you. And uh, here you can see the DNA bomb getting called in and the green smoke and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, guys, hopefully you're having a great day and I'll see you guys later.